Uh, let's see. Yeah, we've uh, talked for a while. Going down this card. Shit. <laughs> okay. Co-main in the main event ended in decisions, but you know what did not end in a decision? The fight at the middleweight division between Alex Pereira and Sean Tarzan Strickland. Alex Pereira sent Sean Strickland to the ghost realm by knockout at 2 minutes and 36 seconds of round number one, making Omar one of the happiest audience (laughs) members in the T-Mobile arena. Uh, Mark, let me start with you. What was your assessment? A lot has been said about Alex Strickland's game plan. I have something to say about that myself, but uh, I think a lot of praise needs to be given to Mr. (coughs) Pereira. What are your thoughts? (coughs) Sorry, I'm done. Clear your throat. (laughs) I still cannot believe that this happened the way that it happened. I really did believe that Sean Strickland would understand that he needed to grapple to win the fight. As like as much as he's Mr. Macho talk wise, he does usually fight with smart game plans. Like he does usually get what he has to do in different fights. Like even against Hermanson, the way he fought, like people were disappointed that he didn't go for it, but he cut, he fought it safe. Like it was a big fight. He wanted to get a win. So I was like, he's going to get it here. He's going to understand. And instead of doing that, he literally chose the worst possible game plan imaginable. Like, Game plan number one was to wrestle and to grapple and to lean on that. If you're not going to do that, the distant number two would be to try to walk Pereira down, clinch up, make it ugly, wear on him, tire him out. If you're not going to do that, the distant number three would be to pop in and out, try to win a little point fight, dance fight. If you're not going to do that, number 812, which is what Strickland went with, is where you fight a standstill staring contest, shot for shot striking match with Alex fucking Pereira. And that's what that man was like, I think this is going to work. This is what I'm going to do. And shockingly, shockingly, that did not work. And it did not take long. So my mind is blown that that is what he came in there with. And Pereira does exactly what he should do in that situation, which is put that idiot down. And he did. So huge statement performance for Pereira on a huge stage, and somehow in only three UFC fights, this man is fighting for a UFC title. Amazing, amazing. If we have, if we clip just this fight recap for this for this one bout, I, I think the title should be like where self belief goes wrong. Uh, <laughs> uh, Omar, what was your assessment of I guess Sean Strickland's game plan going in and the performance overall, and all of course to uh, yeah. Alex Pereira's performance. I mean, this made me so happy. <laughs> I, 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 I haven't been that satisfied after watching a fight in quite some time. That was, it was a beautiful moment, I will say. Um, as far as the fight is concerned, I mean, I think we all, I think even Sean Strickland knows he's kind of a dumbass just in that performance alone. Um, he said it all week, facetiously or, or otherwise, that the left hook is all that Alex Pereira has. All he's got to worry about is the left hook. If I can, you know, not worry about the left hook, I got the fight. The fight's in my bag. He got hit with a left hook. <laughs> that's, out, that's, that's, what, that's what dropped his ass on the floor and then two right hands to follow it up and keep him on the floor. But And he's not wrong. Alex Pereira has a tremendous left hook. Oh, yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. He's so, I mean, he's so tall. He's so long. It's so strong. Oh, my God. It's, it's just almost like, like he should have wrestled. <laughs> almost. But you live, you learn, and you keep climbing the ladder another day. I, I, you know, I don't like Sean Strickland's personality. I know people love that dude. I enjoy the way he fights because he looks, you know, he's a very Brian Barberina kind of guy where we're just, you know, coming forward straight and, yeah. You know he's always willing to throw down and strike, and and I do love watching those kind of fights. So I definitely like watching him fight, but to watch him just get laid out like this after all the shit that man talks is just, just, chef's kiss. <laughs> See what I'm curious. I I don't know if I fully agree, Mark, with your take that I I I just feel like this is what Strickland does. I I don't I don't see Strickland. Maybe I'm wrong. I've never seen Strickland as a game planner. I, I, Strickland is one of the kind of guys who fights the way he fights, and he's going to bring his, he's going to exact his will onto his opponent. I mean, this is what he did to Uriah Hall, who's an excellent kickboxer. He just walks you down. 
He fights with that awkward kind of stalking style, pressure style with his hands kind of down. He, he's, uh, he's not afraid to talk shit to your face right there in, in the cage. Uh, and he kind of slowly picks you apart and fucks you up. And he thought he was going to do that to Alex Pereira until he got caught. Okay, but what did he do to your eye hole? I mean, he took him. He beat, he beat him into decision. Uriah Hall didn't do much to him. He took him down. Did he take him down? Yes. I thought he just kind of walked him down. I mean, he did walk him down as well, but he mixed in wrestling. <laughs> okay, I don't, maybe I don't hate your take either. I get it. He kind of is that guy. But I just, I, I have felt like he has had game plans where he at least kind of kept that he was a little bit of that guy, but understood what he had to do to win fights. And uh, yeah. yeah, that I agree that he, he Strickland Strickland has proven he knows how to win a fight. Like he knows yeah. what he needs to do. I, I don't know. I, I would probably also agree that I don't know if he's game planning. Like, I don't know if he's, you know, got everything marked off from a to D. Yeah. But, I may have, I didn't mean to exaggerate it. Like he's some, some perfect game planning fighter. He's not that. <laughs> No, yeah, but you know, you see a guy like Eric Pereira, and and you would think that he would get. I need to take him down. I don't need yeah. to go toe to toe and strike for strike with this guy. But when when a win is getting you a title shot, right? He yeah. was. I think he was feeling himself a little too much. Little well, that's the idea. I mean, you you can't get this far without feeling yourself, right? Well, I guess you can't get far enough feeling yourself a little too much. Four take, but man, I, I four takedowns for Strickland in the hall fight. I had to check it. To make sure I wasn't oh, damn. being an idiot. All right, I'm wrong. <laughs> okay, but I mean, I've had mixed feelings about Strickland. Mostly, <laughs> not not all good. I mean, he he has had some moments on the mic where he's been kind of like redeeming himself. Like the time that I think during a fight night when he was like, "Oh, if I wasn't fighting, I'd be like cooking up meth in a trailer yeah, yeah, somewhere." Yeah. I'm like, "Oh man, like come here, like yeah, yeah. you're good." You're like living your dream, but then there's been so too many times where I don't know. He just comes off it's kind of brash, kind of a jerk. But listen, I don't think Sean Strickland is out there trying to win me as a fan. I don't think he's yeah, trying to win. Yeah, that's fair. Talk about viewership or eyeballs. Like Izzy, Sean Strickland don't give a fuck. Yeah, <laughs> no. that's fair. I mean, that's he shows up just he started yeah. to the press conference in like a white undershirt and jeans and like his his keys hanging off of his like yeah. belt loop. Yeah, he doesn't give a shit. No. He's just like tra- he like lives. In the gym and trains and spars eighty hours a week. Yeah, and fucks up a bunch yeah, of dudes in the gym people while he spars them. Yeah, <laughs> That's, he does his thing. And then he goes and he fights and he makes money. Yeah. So good for him, man. Yeah. All right. Uh, title shot for Pereira. Yeah, I, uh, I'd yes, be please. Shocked if they don't pull that trigger, it's you don't get much more of a layup than this. Everyone's already talking about it. Storylines built in. They're already talking to each other. It's it's happening. It's happening. God. You don't think there's anybody else in the middleweight division that Pereira is kind of skipping the line? Oh, he's oh, kind he's of skipping, skipping the, the line. line. <laughs> but like, who else is Izzy going to fight? The only the only other guy on the way up that sure. Izzy hadn't fought was Strickland, and now he lost. So he's got to fight someone. And let's be That's fair, true. Izzy has fought damn near everybody. That's what yeah. it's, it's not yeah. like it's, it's not like yeah, it's not like Izzy is necessarily skipping the line. Izzy, first of all. Has has fought a ton of people. Some, and he's even recycled a couple guys at this point. Yeah. The yeah. other thing is, Pereira from a from a matchmaker's perspective, from a business perspective, is fucking free money. You're printing money with that fight. How do you mean? Yeah. How do you, How do you mean? I mean that that fight sells itself. There's not much. Yeah. You'd have 100%. to be like brain dead to not be able yeah. to sell that fight. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like I'm that fight sells you. itself. It's it's like I said, printing money. You put that at a good time of the year on a stacked card, that money, that that fight will generate all of the money. Not to mention, from a stylistic standpoint, that fight is exactly what Izzy needs as a champion. He needs somebody Mm -hmm. that will bring the fight to him, that will be able to kind of be just as showy as he is. And we can get to see whether Izzy is really that dude or not. And from Izzy's perspective, he gets to get one back. Yep. Because this guy has been talking mad shit about how he laid out Izzy. And Izzy's like, well, did you watch the fight? Because I was fucking you up all up until that point when you caught me. And so at this point, let's be real, it doesn't matter. What matters is what happens going forward. Because if Izzy loses this fight going forward, who the hell cares what happened a few years ago? And same for Alex. It doesn't matter if Alex knocked out Izzy if Izzy knocks out Alex. So like everything rides on that fight. That fight is gigantic. And it needs to happen yeah. winter 
ASAP. Let's go. Yeah. Yeah. And you, you better believe that they're, they're going to play that footage of Pereira oh, laying out Adesanya over, over and over again yeah. in every promo. For sure. Yep. For sure. Yeah. Yeah. What and were you going to say, Mark? I just wanted to add to the, to the point before. If you pull up the middleweight rankings, there's mm-hmm. literally no one that makes sense to be fighting Izzy outside of the winner of Whitaker Vittori being deserving, but he's already beaten both guys twice. So he's certainly not fighting them right now. So, you mm-hmm. know, that's what it is. It's That's the fight game. Like, Pereira's not skipping the line. It's timing. And th- that happens in the fight game yeah. every single day. Like, I, like casual will say to me sometimes, like, wait, how, why is the champion fighting number five? Like, where's one, two, and three, and four? But, like, that's the right. shit that happens in the fight game. And so yeah, it's nothing yeah. on Pereira. He's here. That being said, out of respect to Sean Strickland, because I still think that he's top ten middleweight, uh, let's, uh, let's matchmake him real quick. Mark, put that matchmaker's hat back on. What would you do next with Strickland? Yeah, I just realized that we forgot to match make Jared Cannonier, um, but my it man. works out perfectly fine for me because this is my match. Uh, yep. They both nice. underwhelmed me on this card, and I think you put them both in there and find out which one is going to continue to contend in, in this division. Omar, agree yeah. or disagree? That's literally my pick as well. I mean, That's stylistically, like, like I said, I think if you watch any other Cannonier fight, the, the man doesn't fight standing still the man fights going forward and so does sean strickland so that can yeah. only yeah it's a scrap lead yeah. to fireworks 100 yeah. percent. it's a scrap yeah 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 it's a very interesting style matchup cool uh in, in the interest